Are you going to get it? Maybe it would be better if you did. Show some willing. I'm cooking and she's your guest. Well, I say she. I mean, I'm assuming she is technically a female, even if she looks like Ray Winston. No, it's your bit of fuck puppetry, John. You open the door to it. It's waiting. Standing there. Outside now. Knocking. Knock, knock. What's there? Does it have a name? Don't call her it. I might. I just might. I just can't control my mouth. I'm on edge here, John. You know that. And I just can't. I just can't. You invited her? Well, I really wanted to know who turned your head. Turned it right round like that girl from The Exorcist. When are you going to tell her? Tell her? Tell her! Not before dinner. Dessert, then? You said the whole point is that it won't be so bad if she knows who I'm with. But if I tell her straight away, she'll turn around and leave. Well, you so... are going to tell her. Yes. Aren't you, you little bastard? She'll think she'll have the wrong house if I don't go now. I think tonight might be your last chance. Right, right. You can see how much I care about this. Of course. My hand is shaking with anger and nerves and, God knows, love for you. And I'm having to go through this because, despite what you say, I have the feeling that I'm about to lose you. And here I am trying to cut the fucking potatoes and I can't because I'm shaking. And just now I cut my fucking finger because of you, you prick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'm going to tell her I'm never going to just leave you. I promise you that isn't what this well, is about. Well, if you fuck this up, I am walking out. My own flat, you can have it. I'd rather give you £300,000 worth of flat than spend a non-moment waiting for you. OK. OK, now open the door before she punches a hole in it. I'm imagining a yeti. That's what I'm imagining. I want you to know that a kind of big, horrible creature like she's made by Jim Henson and operated by two men inside. Deep voice like she's something from Labyrinth. What's that thing? That thing I'm thinking of. They had it on Blue Peter. Please. What's it called? Ludo. Yeah, Ludo. Ludo. Go on, then. Right, right. Jesus. Hi. Hi. Please, yes. Come in. Yes, you look... Okay. You look really good. I tried to look less feminine. Right. I failed. I can see that. It's difficult. I'm not going to shave my head. I tried on these horrible jeans, but whatever I did just looked stupid. So in the end, I thought, no, John. No, I'm going to be proud of us, proud of you, and look feminine, look really feminine. No, it's perfect. You're completely right. I love it. Not manly at all. Right. Don't you want to come in? Not really. Right. Can I take your coat? Thanks. Is he... He's in the kitchen. He's cooking. Well, I said I would do it, but he wouldn't have it. He says I'm terrible at cooking. I don't think you're terrible at cooking. It's not a competition. Not terrible, you know. It's not a competition. Please, please, it mustn't be that. Then what is it, really? He just wants to talk, I think. How's he going to take it? I feel sorry for him, actually. I mean, this is... Do you want to come through? A living room? Yes. Is it yours, the flat? Ours. Great. Should we sit down? Well, it can introduce us. Well, yes. Yes. Do you want a glass of wine? Red or white? Either, yes, which? Whatever goes with the food, what we're eating. I have no idea. Okay. I'll find out. Oh, well... Oh. Hello. Here he is. Hi. Introductions? Yes, this is... We've uh... heard a lot about each other, I'm sure. You're not manly. No. He said you were manly. He lied. I can see that. Um, Very feminine, yes, yes, that's clear. Tits and everything, tits sorry. Tits and hips and everything. Don't be sorry, darling, don't be sorry. I'm sure he doesn't mind. <laughs> well, interesting fabrication. John? Manly. Yes. An explanation? No. Right. Well, I don't know what he told you about me, but I can be pretty feminine, too. Nice dress. Thank you. Glad you've made the effort. I did as well, as you can see. But John seems to think this is an informal affair. Well, I don't think it really matters. Are you not going to enter into this conversation, John? I mean, it's a really good one. I'm really loving it. Don't you want to take part? Look, she's only just got here. And already it's awkward. Who'd have thought? Never mind. Well, it's beef. We're having beef, so I would recommend red. Heard you through the walls. Can't say a word in private in this house, but that won't matter because tonight we're going to be really open and honest, aren't we? I hope a so. A full and frank discussion. Red, please. Red it is. Thank you. I'll go and find a suitable bottle. I'm sure you have this. You have different bottles suited to different occasions. Some for when really very important guests are here. I'm happy with whatever. Others for when guests are less important can you stop being so fucking bitchy but that's what this is isn't it the ultimate bitch fight no it doesn't have to be can i just confess i don't know why either of us are even in this situation i mean look at him look at that it's a nice jacket i wasn't pointing at his jacket sweetheart why are you calling her that why did you get so so he's pathetic camp well i don't think he's pathetic at all you don't well right and neither do you really you're trying to make yourself feel better but you don't need to be mean like this i'm not mean I appreciate him. There's respect. Maybe that's what you went looking for. Yeah, but if you lived with him... I don't play games. If you lived with him... Yes, I'd like to. I'd like to do that.
Red, yes. Whatever you think is appropriate. I'm sorry. Don't be. You like my jacket? What? You said you liked it, yes? Yes. And how do I look generally? Fine. No, no, don't say fine. It's not about fine. It's about better than fine. It's about being brilliant, being exciting. So. I think you're beautiful, very exciting, John. I love your clothes. I love the bits of mess you have. It's all very you. It's a halo of disorganisation and I love it. Thank you. Red. Thank you. Shall we sit? Dinner will be a little while. All right. Well. Shall we play a game? What? Cards? Ludo? Discuss the news? No. What then? Talk. About... Get to know each other. We don't like each other. You might get on. What do you do? Builder. Really? No, not really. You? I'm a classroom assistant. Not a proper job. I like it. But really, you want to be... I'm very happy. But really... Really? But really... Yes, all right. Maybe retake my A-levels, train to be a doctor. In an ideal world, that's what I do. OK. What happened first time round? With your A-levels. Tragedy or stupidity. It's always one or the other. Broken family, death of a parent, the child goes off the rails, something like that. Or alternatively, they've always been a bit thick, but no one's ever told them, and then they get the results, and it's staring them in the face. D-F-E spells stupid. But then... So? Is that what happened? Stupid, is it? I didn't give a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. Oh, that's clever. You didn't give a fuck. Oh. I hated school, so I got out. Started my own business. Do you know what? Tourist guides of the city. Tourist guides of the fucking city. But now you're a babysitter. So. Teaching assistant. Yeah, but that's the same. So it all went a bit wrong, did it? Worked for ten years. Then, yes, eventually it fell apart, yes. I'm in business. Really? Yes, he is. Broker. Fulfilling? Not the point, is it? Fulfilling. But you're happy. Generally, yes. Happy? Yes. Yes. I really like my job. That bit was honest, what I just said. John tells me I should point it out when I'm being honest because it's so rare. But yes, actually, thank you for asking. I'm actually genuinely happy. Well, that's good. Is it just me or does it feel like we're all waiting for something to happen? Why did you fucking... I thought it would be good. I don't think that's a surprising bit. It's surprising I felt anything. It's surprising it turned into a relationship and that we're all here now. In my flat. In your very nice flat, yes. Yes. OK. Yes. I think we have a lot in common. Well, we certainly have one fucking thing in common. I'll go and check on the food. But that's just an excuse to leave, really. Honesty again there. Music? No. I'm sorry. This must be horrible. I'm not going to let you go, John. Thank you. But you could contribute a little more. You'll break that. Sorry. What is it? I don't know. It was on the side. Is it yours? I don't know what it is. I'm sorry I'm not speaking. I'm sorry. I know it's weird, but I'm trying to work out how to handle this. Who to be? Because I'm two different people with the two of you and you're separate, and now I'm in the middle and no one. Be yourself. But I have absolutely no idea who that is. Everyone else seems to have a personality, a character, but I've never, I've never. I used to do voices, I remember this. And I don't think anyone can really understand it when I say it, but I remember one moment when I couldn't think what was my own voice. I've been doing high voices and northern voices and men's voices and impressions of the teachers and my dad and people on the telly and everyone was laughing and I tried to go back to my own voice but I couldn't remember what it was. Sit down. It's all right. And I always stand in the mirror for ages, every day. I never know what to wear. When I go shopping for clothes, I bring him and he says, it's up to you, what do you like? And I think, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Just choose something that isn't too strange, that doesn't make me look like an idiot. I think you look lovely. Thank you. And it's simple. You just need to pick the right moment. For? To tell him. Right. Then you'll know exactly who you are. Right. Yes. You are going to tell him, aren't you? Of course, otherwise you wouldn't... That's the only reason I'm here. Exactly. When? 
Dessert? Yes, yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs>